Hello, everybody. It's Mike from Israel 50 TV. I'm back, people. <laughs> and I've just watched the Canelo fight against Billy Joe Saunders. It was very interesting. But before I get to that, you have to hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and that like button because I'll be posting more videos like this as much as I can. I'm not going to say it on the regular, but as much as I can. But back to the point. Canelo Alvarez. Whoa, what did he do to Billy Joe Saunders' eye socket? But let's bring it back to the beginning. Let's bring it back to the, to the how it got to that point. Billy Joe Saunders was talking a lot of smack. He was running his mouth, talking about the ring size, threatening to leave, talking about beef, dissing reporters, underneath his breath, talking about bad breath. But did he deliver on the night? Billy Joe Saunders started slow. He started tentative. Maybe it was all that nervous energy from knowing that he is in the biggest fight of his life. And because of that, he fought very slow and he was slow off the blocks. And Canelo, in typical Canelo style, took advantage through a few body shots. Clean body shots. And then as soon as Billy Joe Saunders felt that power, felt the aggression, felt the fist of the Mexican power, then he knew this was a different level from every other fighter that he has fought. Canelo Alvarez, throughout the rounds, hitting him with clean shots to the face, clean shots to the body, and nearly... Nearly hit him with the uppercut. Now, I had the fight 4-4 going into the ninth round where Billy Joe Saunders quit on his stool because Canelo Alvarez struggling with southpaws. As Canelo Alvarez improved in all those years since he fought Lara, since he fought Trout, he has improved. And he's improved because of his experience. He knows what he needs to do now against Southpaws. But technically, has he improved against Southpaws? No. Because Billy Joe Saunders gave him a hell of a lot of problems. In the beginning, Billy Joe Saunders was struggling to find his feet. And that's when Keno Alvarez took advantage of body shots and took advantage of the jab. But then Billy Joe Saunders felt that power and he was like, no, 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 I have to up my game. And I think that woke him up a little bit. And then he started doing a lot of feints, moving around, trying to get uh, Canelo off guard, trying not to get his feet set to throw punches. And in the mid rounds, that's when Billy Joe Saunders started to find his feet. He was starting to connect with the double jab. He didn't do enough double jabs. He, he was connecting with more shots and Canelo was not able to throw because he wasn't able to set his feet. And when Canelo sets his feet, that's when he throws power shots. The key to defeat Canelo Alvarez is to don't let him set his feet. you got to keep him moving. you got to not keep on, not, not get in front of him. Move to the side, move to the other side quick. Move to the other side, pow, 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 pow. Jab, hit, connect. And when you go in, you hit. With the you hit him to the body, hit him to the head, but you have to have power in your shots. If you don't have power, then you ha can't stop him. And that's been the problem with a lot of these fighters. These fighters don't don't have power, and if you don't have power, Canelo won't respect you. And that's why he's not. That's why he doesn't want to fight Demetrius Andrade. Now I'll give Canelo respect. He beat Billy Joe Saunders. He crushed his face in and uh, Billy Joe Saunders didn't leave on his stool. Now, a lot of people are criticising Billy Joe Saunders because he quit and he didn't carry on fighting. And do you know what? That's Billy Joe Saunders' own fault because everybody remembers and social media is the only thing which is undefeated because the past will come back to haunt you. And Billy Joe Saunders, when Daniel Dubar's eye got busted and he quit on his knees. Billy Joe Saunders was like, no, I'd rather die in there than to give up and quit. I'll carry on. 
but it's different because you've never experienced it before. So as soon as your eye got busted, then you then then, then it became real. Then you realized real quick that you could become blind. Then your personality changed and it became different. You see, and that's an important lesson to everybody. One of those people in there. That's why when people quit because of a serious injury. I, I, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm not going to be bust about it. Because at the end of the day, unless you've been in there and you're experiencing that situation, you don't know what it's like. And Billy Joe Saunders running his mouth. So he deserves all the backlash he can get. I'm not going to criticize him personally for, for quitting for a bad damaged eye. But I can understand why people are, are hating, especially with the double standards. And speaking about double standards... At the post-fight press conference, Keller Alvarez was saying his usual spiel, oh, I want to fight the best fighters, and I, I want to fight her. Keller Plant next for the belts, and I want to unify. But then Demetrius Andrade comes in, hungry, wanting that fight. But Keller Alvarez starts coming out saying, wait a minute, who have you fought? Who have you fought? You're a boring fighter. So what I was like, wait a minute, Kenelo, I, I was giving you props. But then when you start saying to Andrade, who have you fought and that you're boring as a reason not to fight Andrade, you just lost the whole argument. Because if we could go back to your resume, who has Rocky Fielding fought that made you decide you want to fight Rocky Fielding? Who has Yildrum for that made you decide you want to fight Yildrum? Who has Billy Joe Saunders for that made you decide you want to fight Billy Joe Saunders? And last but not least, who has Caleb Plant for to make you want to fight Caleb Plant? So people will say, oh, you want to fight Caleb Plant because he wants to unify. But if I'm not mistaken, did he not have three belts at 160? And Demetrius Andrade had the other belt at 160. So he was in the exact situation then than he is now. But he chose not to fight Andrade to unify all the belts. But now he's trying to fight Caleb Plant, who ain't knocked out nobody. Who's a boring fighter. Who ain't fought nobody to unify all the belts. So I just think that at that point, Canelo Alvarez, double standards, mate. Double standards. I ain't falling for that. And real boxing fans that know they're boxing ain't going to fall for that nonsense. you got to fight Charlo, fight Andrade, fight the names out there. Yeah, I'm not falling for your ducking. Congratulations to Billy Joe, to Billy Joe Saunders for getting the fight. Congratulations for and for putting up a good fight. Congratulations for Canelo for doing what he had to do. But do I want to see Caleb Plant next? I don't care about Caleb Plant. I don't want to see Caleb Plant next. I want to see fights that's going to seriously test Canelo. I'm sick and tired of this, man. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm out. Edge Note 50 signing out. And anything else you want me to talk about, let me know. And I'm going to talk about.